Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. It says that a kite and a spool cost $29.75 together. Jason paid $228.55 for 12 kites and 5 spools. Then how much will Ted pay for 2 kites and 4 spools? Well, what we have got is the cost of a kite and a spool together. Okay, we don't know the individual cost of the kite and the spool. What we know is what they cost together. Okay, so one pair of a kite and a spool costs $29.75. Then there's a boy called Jason who bought 12 kites and 5 spools and he paid $228.55. And then there's another boy called Ted who bought 2 kites and 4 spools. Okay, these are two different combinations of kites and spools. This is 12 kites and 5 spools. This is 2 kites and 4 spools. Okay, and we have to find out how much Ted will pay. All right, so let's use uh, the information we've got and make a model. Okay, so what we know is a kite and a spool together they cost $29.75. So let's make a model for a kite and a spool. Okay, so this is say my block for a kite and say I have another block for the spool. Now, I don't know which one costs more, the kite or the spool, but I'm just assuming for now that the spool costs more than the kite, okay? So this block over here for the spool is longer than the block for the kite. All right, so let's uh, fill in some color now. Let's uh, maybe paint this red. The kite is red and the spool is maybe blue. Okay, so this is your kite and this is your spool. Now, one kite and one spool together they cost $29.75. So this pair over here, okay, of a kite and a spool is $29.75, okay. Now let's make a model for 12 kites and five spools, okay, which is what Jason bought. So Jason bought 12 kites and five spools. So what I'm gonna do is copy this kite over here and make 11 more copies because there are 12 kites, which is what Jason bought. So let's do that. Now we have two kites and three kites, four, five, six, and I'm just gonna copy this whole six and put over here six more. Okay, six plus six is 12, and that's how many kites. Jason bought. Then he also bought five spools. Okay, so let's copy this one spool and paste it four times. So we have five spools. Now this is two spools, three spools, four spools, and five spools. Okay, so Jason paid two hundred and twenty-eight dollars and fifty-five cents for twelve kites and five spools. So he paid. $228.55 for all of this, okay? So this is $228.55. All right. Now, what do we have to find out? Well, we have to figure out how much Ted will pay for two kites and four spools. Now, we don't know the individual costs of the kite and the spool. So I guess uh, what we'll have to find out first of all is the individual costs of a kite and a spool, okay? Now, how do we go about doing that? Now, when I look carefully at this model diagram, what I see is I see five pairs of one kite and one spool. See, this is one pair. Okay, let me color this. So this is one pair. Okay, this is one pair, which is $29.75, right? Then this is a second pair, which is $29.75. Then this one over here is a third pair, again, $29.75. Then this one, a fourth pair over here, that's $29.75. And this one, the fifth pair, that's $29.75. So I know how much this block over here, all these reds together, okay? Now if I color this, maybe in another color. So I know how much all these will cost together, right? Because I know the cost of one of these. So I know how much five of these will cost then, right? So all of this, okay, together there are five of these. So I can figure out how much this yellow block over here will cost. 
Now, why I'm trying to figure out how much this will cost is because it will help me find out how much these seven kites, the remaining seven kites will cost. Okay, so if I can find out how much this top block over here will cost, then what I do is I subtract from $228.55 this yellow block and I will know what this bottom yellow block will cost, okay? So let's do that. There are five of these $29.75 pairs. So $29.75 times five, how much will that be? 29.75 times five. Five times five is 25. Then you have the two carried over. Seven times five is 35 plus two is 37. Then the decimal point and three carried over. Nine times five is 45 plus three is 48. Four carried over, two times five is 10 plus four is 14. All right, so what I've figured out is how much this block over here, okay, this will cost. Well, this will cost $148.75. So five pairs of a kite and a spool cost $148.75. Then if I subtract that amount from $228.55, then I have the value of this block over here, right? The bottom block, okay? So let's find out what that's equal to. All I do is I do $228.55 minus $148.75, okay? How much is that equal to? Five minus five is zero. Then I borrow one and this becomes seven. 15 minus seven is eight. Then I borrow one, this becomes one. 17 minus eight is nine. Then I borrow another one, this is one. 11 minus four is seven. So this bottom block over here, I figured out is equal to $79.80. Okay, now what is this bottom block made up of? Well, it's made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven kites. So the bottom block, which is made up of seven kites, has a value of $79.80. So that means that seven kites cost $79.80. So if seven kites cost $79.80, then how much will one kite cost? Well, it's quite simple. All you do is you divide $79.80 by seven to get the cost of one kite. So what you get is seven divided by seven is one. Then this is zero. You bring down the nine. Seven goes into nine once. And you have a seven here and you have two here. Then the decimal point, you bring down the eight. Then you put four over here. Four times seven is 28. There is no remainder and there's a zero here. All right, so here's what we have calculated that one kite costs $11 and 40 cents. Okay, so one purple this thing over here is equal to $11.40. So this is $11.40. Okay, so we know the cost of one kite. Now, can we find out the cost of the spool from here? Well, quite simple. One kite and one spool together, they cost $29.75. That's given to us, right? Then we know the cost of the kite now. Now, can we find the cost of the spool from here? Very straightforward. All you do is 29.75 minus $11.40. And that's equal to, let's see, 29.75 minus 11.40. And that's 5 here, 3 here, 8 here, and 1 here. So one spool, this guy over here that I'm marking in brown, okay, one spool costs $18.35. So this guy over here costs $18.35. Okay, so we have the cost of the kite that's equal to $11.40 and we have the cost of the spool that's equal to $18.35. Now from here, can we find out how much two kites and four spools will cost? Well, all you do is you do two times $11.40 plus four times $18.35, right? So let's clear up some space over here and do the calculation. So two times eleven dollars and forty cents plus four times eighteen dollars and thirty-five cents. How much is that? Well, eleven point four times two, eleven point four zero times two is four to the eight, two year and two year. So this is twenty-two dollars and eighty cents plus eighteen point three five times four. 
4 times 5 is 20, 2 here, 12 plus 2 is 14, the decimal, 8 times 4 is 32, plus 3 is 33, and 3 carried over, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and that's equal to $73.40. So the two kites cost $22.80, and the four spools cost $73.40. So then how much will Ted pay for two kites and four spools? Well, the sum of these two, and that's 22.80 plus 73.40. Let's see, 0 here, 12 here, then 6 here, and 9 over here. So Ted pays $96.20, and that's your final answer. So Ted will pay $96.20 for two kites and four spools. Well, that brings us to the end of this word problem. I hope uh, you've understood how to solve this problem. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems. As usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.